You all know why you're here. Let's begin. With the Nintendo Switch closing in faster than my crippling depression because I can't buy it, people are hyping the new Zelda game more than No Man's Sky, and if I've learned anything from that game, it's that Zelda will crash and burn. I don't care if the Zelda franchise is older than dirt, just because it's old doesn't mean it's good. I mean, would you eat a hundred year old egg? What the fuck do you mean that's a thing? Century egg? No, I've never. Oh fuck, that's a real thing, isn't it? I'm just glad that Nintendo keeps all of its franchises going. Uh, they'll get to them eventually? Anyway, let's get right into it. I'm going out on a limb here and say I'm probably the 957th person who claims to be the biggest Zelda fan out there. But that's false, because everyone else is wrong. Which means I'm the best person to review this game. Let's start off with the story. What is it? Well, if you know anything about Zelda, it's about being the hero and trying to save Hyrule from Ganondorf. Let, let's be real here. Real talk, okay? Why do they keep Ganon around? This guy has almost ruled the world more times than people not being able to finish the Water Temple. And that joke needs to die. Link awakens from a deep sleep as a mysterious female voice guides him to the now ruined Kingdom of Hyrule. He meets an old man and learns that Calamity Ganon has been sealed in Hyrule Castle for 100 years. Although trapped, Calamity Ganon has continued to grow in power, and Link must defeat it before it breaks free and destroys the world. So, you know, your basic Zelda game. But let's be honest, the Zelda games weren't really known for their stories. It's the puzzle solving and world exploration that gets me hot and bothered. They're changing it up though this time around. Instead of following a linear line, you, the player, gets to choose which dungeon to tackle first. What about the graphics? It's Nintendo, pal. They don't care about good looking games. They want to stand out by making their games look like cartoons, but then try to market their products to adults. I don't, I don't get it either. Now the biggest thing they're marketing is the vast open world you get to explore in the Zelda universe, which will probably result in you fast traveling to points on a map because you don't have time for that shit. Oh, and Epona, that horse that's in almost every Zelda game? No one is saying anything over Nintendo, so you'll have to enslave other wild horses to fight for your own personal war. Well, what about gameplay? In Breath of the Wild, your arsenal of weapons is limited to the amount of weapons in the game. You can use any weapon you see on the ground. Well, that is until you get the Master Sword, because let's face it, once you have that bad boy, every weapon won't be as cool. However, we now come to the most important question. Can you masturbate to it? If I know anything about games, it's that if there's porn of it, then it's going to be a good game. Now I realize the fallacies that lie in this type of thinking, but look at Overwatch. That was a porn explosion, and that game is pretty fucking good. If you have been browsing the interwebs like I have, you'll see that this game has a lot of it too. Not that I look or anything, because this game was made for children, plus some of those characters look underage. So my words of advice is be careful because the FBI might be knocking on your door. And even though I have not played this game, I feel like I'm the most qualified person to rate it. The rating for this game is a Mario coin block out of Tingle. Oh, and before I go, good luck recording this game for YouTube because Nintendo doesn't like that. 